By the way, I got a beautiful email today from someone who's using this in all walks of life. He's using it for job interviews and for business. This does not just apply for seduction because it's dealing with the structure of human consciousness. And as I've said many times, language structures our consciousness, but it's also our consciousness is also reflected back in language. Very important. This is why when people come to me with arguments about evolutionary biology, and women are genetically programmed to respond, I'm like, I don't know about that. But I do know that since we've evolved this cortex of ours that processes language, you can use this for sure. <clears throat> there are commands and suggestions embedded inside a vague language. I said, you know, one of the things I said in that little piece of patter, I said, when you go inside and you imagine the feelings you really want to have, okay? So what are the commands? Commands contain a verb, go, go inside, feel that. So commands start with, with a verb, go, do, feel, think, imagine, picture, recall. Commands will start with verbs. By the way, one way to construct good patterns is to start with the commands. What are the commands you would like to give a woman? Go inside. Feel those feelings. Picture those pictures. Imagine that happening. You understand? Picture, imagine, go, think, recall, remember, allow. You understand? So let's all practice giving a command. How about the command to, um, we want a woman to feel horny. So what command would we give her? Feel horny. Think those, think those thoughts. Imagine those thoughts. Remember what, how it feels to feel horny. Picture those images. You understand? These are commands. There's also suggestions. Let me draw a distinction between commands and suggestions. Commands are basically telling her to do something. Suggestions are more about like the situation. Suggestions are softer. For example, remember when I was playing with Kim the other day and I, I talked about um, when, you, when a person can feel strong feelings and really allow that to happen, it's the kind of thing that allows them to realize it's on. That term, it's on, it's on is a suggestion. It's not a command. When I say it's on, I'm not telling her to do an action. Does that make sense? You understand? So suggestions direct the mind. Commands directionalize the mind. Commands and suggestions are similar in that they both directionalize the mind. They set the mind moving in a certain direction and they cause a response internally, yes? The difference being that suggestions are more broad. For so example, of suggestion is it's on, it's happening, That's happening. The difference in the structure between suggestions and commands, commands are more specific, like feel that. They're not specific in this. Strike that. Commands always start with a verb. Go, do, feel, think, imagine. Yes? Suggestions start with, uh, what would you call it's? What is that, an impersonal pronoun? What, what's the, it's an article. Who knows the a grammar term? Indefinite article? Definite or indefinite? Okay, it's an article. It's happening. It's on. That's happening. Do you understand? It's, that's, this. It's, and they tend to have things uh, after them like it's happening. That's happening. It's taking place. That's what's taking place. Do you understand? It's on. You it's occurring. Also, right? What? I can't understand a word you're saying. When you say do you understand, it's like, uh, it's a suggestion. It's a suggestion. What's a suggestion? When you say do you understand? Uh, by the way, we need to run mics to them. Yeah. When you say you understand, that's a suggestion. To you. When I tell people, you understand? Here, no. It's a command. Understand is a command. You understand. But we'll get there, okay? So suggestions I occasionally use as well. So when you're vague, vague language is going to contain commands and suggestions. Does that, this make sense? 